Hello my fellow creators and welcome to my YouTube channel. It is the second of the month, which means it's time for the sheet load creative team to share our version of this month's sheet load of card sketch. The sheet load of cards is a sketch cutting guide and full supply list provided free to all of Call Me Crafty Owls subscribers. I'll be sure to link to Call Me Crafty Owls channel in the description box below. On the first of each month, Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl channel shares the sketch and explains how to download that sketch for free. On the second of the month, she shares a full process video using the sheet load sketch, including any tips or tricks she may have. The creative team also shares our version of how we use the sheet load sketch on the second of the month. I will have a playlist in the description box below so that you can follow along with all the creative team members for the July 2024 sheet load of cards sketch. Now if you'd like to play along with this month's sheet load of cards sketch, please be sure to use the hashtags on the sketch when sharing on social media. This way we can see all the wonderful creations being made by all of our crafty friends. Now, the sketch does share what supplies are needed, how many cards the sketch will yield, and this month it yields eight, the dimensions in case you want to make one card instead of the full batch, any special instructions and alternative or other ways to use the sketch, such as rotating the sketch. Now, this month is a special edition. We are making five by seven cards. Now page two is your cutting guide, which shows how to cut any pattern paper and cardstock you will need to make this sheet load of cards. So I decided to use this beautiful 12 by 12 paper pad that I recently purchased at Michael's. It is the Magical Thinking paper pad and it has beautiful papers inside. Let me kind of flip through it real quickly and you can see how beautiful these papers are. It has some solids, which I did use the solids for my matte layers and um, my circle element as well. And look at these beautiful butterflies. So many beautiful papers. I really just recently bought this paper pad. I think it was two days ago that I got it and it's just beautiful. So as you can see, here's the scraps of some of that solid paper. Now I also used the, um, this birthday sentiment from MFT's birthday greetings. It is, it says a little birthday wish for a great friend. And I really like that. And then to cut my circle elements, I did use my uh, We Are Memory Keepers Nesting Circles dies. Now, there is a special bonus for channel members, and you will have access to an SVG file to cut the partial circles. But I just went ahead and used my circles and then cut the bottoms of them off. And then to stamp my sentiments, I did use Gina K Designs fresh asparagus ink. I thought it went well with a color scheme. Now before I show you my cards, let me show you. This is all I have left of the pattern paper. These are my scraps. That's it. So I think I did pretty well. I used those extra strips of pattern paper that are left from cutting to make um, little banners for the inside of the cards. So here are my beautiful five by seven cards. Look how pretty these look. And so I used this uh, paper with gold stars on it, the pink paper, and then this paper, this beautiful pattern paper. Let me show you what that one looks like. Let's just show you real quick. These are the pattern papers I used. I used this pink with stars on it. And then I used, let me find it this one. Isn't that beautiful? Just gorgeous. So back to sharing my cards. I got four with this pattern paper as the main pattern paper and then the pink strips. And then I here's the so circles. I did add a matte layer to the circle element as well as to uh, the main 
panel here. I just, I liked it better with that matte layer. So here's these four. Let me just show you real quickly. And I'll show you the inside in just a minute. So there's those four. And then here's the four with the pink, uh, with gold stars as the main background. And then the other pattern paper as the strips. And I think they turned out just beautifully, don't you? I mean, pattern paper makes all the difference. And then here's that little strip I cut with the extra strip on the inside. Oh, and you may notice, I didn't have quite enough of this solid green in the paper pad for all my matte layers. So I pulled in some green cardstock from my stash and I think it looks okay. It's not, it's not too far off. And I did do some ink blending around it with that fresh asparagus ink. So here are my eight cards using the July 2024 sheet load of cards sketch. Thanks so much for sticking around to the end. I'd be thrilled if you subscribed to my YouTube channel or followed me on any of my other social media platforms. As always, have a beautiful, safe, and creative day. Thanks for watching. Bye.